Hi everyone, this is Tiana coming to you with another video and it's basically an educational video in which um, it's just going to be a continuation of promoting hair growth, extending the length and getting it to grow long and thick. So what are some of the ways that you can promote healthy hair? We discussed this in several videos. So basically I've done a little research and the latest thing I found out is that the rice water will help promote hair growth. Now, rice water is supposed to contain the same kind of ingredients and nutrients that your actual bi your actual biotin will uh, contain or vitamins. So the main ingredients that, that's found in it is like the selenium. Um, selenium and magnesium and folic acid and these are definitely the key ingredients to help me promote healthy hair okay so we know that the folic acid is found in your prenatal vitamins in which it does help a lot of women that's pregnant their hair grow long because they take those vitamins so that's like one of the main ingredients that's found in the rice water also Thiamine and niacin are other key ingredients found in your vitamins, which is in your rice water. So the selenium basically promotes hair growth and is supposed to reduce dandruff. Your folic acid is going to thicken the hair and make it grow longer. The magnesium stimulates hair growth and it's in our bodies. So it also um, supposed to help promote hair growth is going to strengthen it. And then the niacin um, has your vitamin B3 and it's going to transform dull, weak hair. Okay, so these are some of the ingredients found in the rice water. So basically what you're going to do, how do you um, make this uh, recipe? So what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to get some right white rice or you can use you can use brown rice you can use jasmine rice or organic rice whichever you choose you're only going to need one cup of it one cup and one cup of distilled water and you're going to let the rice sit in the bowl with the distilled water for over 12 hours you're going to let it ferment and as it ferments, the longer it settles, the better it is going to be on your hair. So you let it set in there for about, like I said, 12 to 24 hours, and it's going to be a cloud. You're going to see a cloud develop. So you're going to get a strainer, and you're going to pour that rice out, but you're going to keep the water. The water is your rice treatment. So it's basically like a rinse. That's what it is, like a rice rinse. So what you're going to do is wash your hair. You're going to wash it, or I will say, shampoo it. You're going to shampoo it. We're going to use our sulfate free shampoo. We're going to condition our hair, rinse it off, and then we're going to pour that rice treatment on the hair. We're going to leave it on for about 30 to 60 minutes. You're going to put place a cap on and just let it set. Once, it, once it's done, you're going to just rinse it off. Once it stays in there for about 60 minutes, you're going to rinse it off. So you're going to continue to do this each time you, you know, do your normal, you know, shampoo routine. I would say maybe twice a week. So um, I have not tried it yet. I'm trying it right now on my daughter. She has attempted to try it twice. Now what I will say is that it made her hair soft and it moisturized it and she has very very dry hair so I immediately seen some results now the length we're still going to continue to um, try the product and see how it works and I'm going to get back with you guys and let you know if it really worked or not because we have a lot of videos out about this right rice water and that it's it's going to grow hair. So I like to test it. I like the testings first. 
And the only thing I'm doing is just giving you a little advice and a little bit of education about it and just going to experiment. And that's basically what you have to do, basically, to see. Because everybody's trying it. So what harm could it do? Try it. See if it works. If it doesn't, then we try something else. But that is basically all you would do. Um, also, I wanted to say... Also, what did I want to say? Oh, I wanted to say that rice water contains so many different vitamins and nutrients. And like I said, I mentioned some of the nutrients, but it also contains B1 through B6, vitamin B, and vitamin K. So that's basically it, guys. Like I said, I'll get back with you guys and um, on the progress of my daughter's hair and if it does truly work. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll get back with you on it. And if anyone know of any other... Um, secrets on how to grow hair just let me know I mean because we have to realize it's based on genetics and because you see people with long hair and you just assume that everybody here will just immediately grow naturally some people hair grow without products I mean my hair for once I'm going to share with you I don't do much to my hair. What I do is I keep my hair washed, I condition it, I use sulfate free shampoo. Okay, um, another thing I do is I use coconut oil and I go in between like my, my straight and my natural. And I like to do my natural in the summer. Okay, I just did my natural last week, and now I'm back to straight. So you get the you get the point. I kind of rotate it, but you want to leave the heat off. You don't want the heat on there too much. You want to, you know, keep it um, less heat as possible and less less manipulation as possible. And like I said, the less the less touching, the less manipulating the faster it will grow. Like I said, other people here might not grow like that. So it's always good to try different products, see what's out there. And you know, what's for me might not be for you. So like I said, try this rice water. I'm gonna try this on my daughter. I'm gonna see. And hopefully I'll let you know. Hope something positive comes about it. But guys, that's it. See you in my next video.